one was Kamari out on a great hustle out of him. When he came off the break two, you know, I was last year, I was shy of last year, Michael Dodge. You have know, lines where other than the possible very no song. So once while I can have to try to treat them very coming at you with a quick lesson it's gonna be on uh don't get caught up in carnal goals. Um or rather uh carnal goals will not amount to anything. All right, um now uh, of course we have uh goals um uh, outside of the spirit, outside of the truth. And we have things that we're working towards and you know things pertaining to our job and uh you know financial you know different this different aspirations of course that we have but you know it's important to remember that really those things are they won't really amount to anything you know they're really just a pass time by to you know give you a balance away from the truth because as we know our main focus and our main mission is the truth and, and to do the world you know watch more shy but Outside of that, you know, like extracurricular activities, and really that's just what it is, it's just extracurricular activities, you know, just um, things to, to basically pass the time by and give you a balance, but ultimately it's not really going to amount to anything, you know, um, whatever it is that you're working towards in the world, we know that this world is going to be destroyed. So you have to remember that and you have to not get too caught up into it. All right. Um, so this is uh second Corinthians uh sorry, seventeen. For our light affliction, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. All right, so as you see, we're being afflicted, okay. Uh, we're being oppressed, and it says um, it's but for a moment. So, you know, this this that means that this thing is, is not forever. You know, it says work it for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. Yeah, because what we're looking forward to is the eternal weight of glory. Um, Verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, right? So the things which are seen is what? Things of the world, the things that we can physically build towards, things that we can physically see with our own eyes. But it says, but it says we, we don't look at those things which we can see with the eye, but, the, but at the things which are not seen, which is what? That's the spirit, right? Because we can't physically see the spirit, we can't physically see how child, but we know this is real. How do we know this is real? Because of the prophecy. Because of the prophecy and because of his word. All the words that, that the Lord spake is coming to pass. Okay? It says, uh, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal, right? So the things which are seen are temporal, meaning what? Meaning temporary, meaning it's not going to last forever. So, you know, the things that we are, you know, working towards in the world and certain things, you know, projects or, like I said, aspirations, you know, you aspire to, you know, start a business or, you know, do certain things, you know, that's perfectly fine. but you have to remember that really it's not going to amount. It's really those things are going to be in vain, you know, because America is going to be destroyed. So, you know, you don't want to build, try to build something in America that's going to that's going to make it hard to leave. Because we know that we have to leave, you know. And actually, I get that. Um, I'll grab. Uh, Verse 10. Uh, okay, this is Micah 2 and 
within. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall, it shall destroy you, even with, even with the sword destruction. Right? So, arise ye and depart. Okay? Not, that doesn't mean, arise ye and depart doesn't mean stay here and set up business, stay here and set up, you know, uh, uh, your goals and, you know, be comfortable. No, it says arise ye and depart, which means what? Spiritually depart, you know. Spiritually meaning your mindset, your mindset shouldn't be attached to this place, you know. Now, like I said, of course, uh, we do, you know, really should have things that you're working for because, you know, that's what gets you out of the, the mundane lifestyle and, you know, monotony of America. You know, work and go home and go to sleep and just fall into that pattern. So, of course, you do want things to work towards, but you know, you can't put all your all your marbles in, in the basket. You, know, you can't put all your eggs into eggs into the basket. You know, um, and let's go to uh, Matt. Matthew 6, and I'm sorry, 19 says, uh, but lay not, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust shall corrupt, where thieves break through and steal, right? So it says, lay up for yourselves, not, sure, lay not for yourselves treasures upon earth, you know? So don't be trying to, you know, make this your, your, Treasure chest, you know, have, have certain things, certain valuables and things that you uphold that, um, you know, it's going to make it hard to leave, you know, because with, with, with treasure, with possessions and treasure comes what? Comes comfort. So the more, the more comfort you have, the more, um, the more, the harder it is to be, you know, the harder it is it's going to be to adjust when those things are taken away. Because they're going to be taken away, just like we said, these things are temporal, all right? And it's going to be a matter of time before these things are taken away. You know, and, um, you know, one pair of Booyah uh, uh one, one uh, account uh, with Booyah was the rich man. You know, um, he basically told the rich man, you know, well, the rich man came to Yahweh and said, uh, you know, Lord, I, I've kept the law from my youth. And, you know, basically inquiring how he can, you know, follow uh, Yahweh And Yahweh Shai basically told him, he said, well, you know, leave, leave all your possessions and follow me. And, you know, he didn't want to do it, you know, because he had a lot of possessions, and it said he had a lot of possessions, you know, before he was rich, all right? And, you know, he didn't want to give up. He didn't want to give up all that he had, you know? You know, here it is, he said he kept the law and he did all these things, but when it came down to leaving his possessions and, and the treasure that he laid up upon earth. He wasn't trying to he wasn't trying to forsake it, you know, to follow Yahweh Shai. You know? And um on the flip side when you look at men like uh Peter and uh I believe James, you know, they they left their jobs. You know, they left they were fishing and you know they said straight away they followed Yahweh Shai. Straight away. And they didn't. They didn't hesitate. They didn't say, "Oh, uh, you know, I gotta work this job." You know, all this and all that. No, they were ready to go. You know, they pursued their their job. They pursued their family and whatever you know, whatever else. Okay. Now, verse twenty says, "But 
lay up for yourselves charges in heaven, where neither moth nor rust shall corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right? So it says, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, okay, where where neither moth nor rust shall corrupt. Okay. All right, because um, you know that that's the that's what you want to have is, is your treasures and your valuables in heaven. Meaning, you know, you can have a spiritual bank account. You can have spiritual jewels. You know, which is what knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Those are the things that no one can take from you. You know, laying up treasures in heaven is internal, spiritually. You know, because, you know, they always have that saying that, you know, no one can take it. it, it it's up here in your mind, and no one can take it from you. You know, and that's what, that's what it means to lay up your treasures in heaven, is to invest you know, spiritual, spiritual values into yourself and not carnal values, right? Because where neither must nor rust shall corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal, right? So it's just like I said, that saying is no one can take it from you. If it's, if it's locked into your, into your mind, no one can take it from you. If you have a foundation of the scriptures, in your mind, you have the foundation of faith in your mind through the spirit of God, Rosh Shai, then no one can take that from you. You know, it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart, there will your heart be also. Right? So, if you are, if, if your treasure is spiritual, right? It says, there will your heart be also. Which your heart is your mind. So wherever your treasure is, your treasure is spiritual, then your mind is going to be on spiritual things. If your if your treasure is upon earth, then your mind is going to be consumed with that. You know, your mind is going to be consumed. And you know, we just read what happens with with um, what what what's going to happen. You know, to this place, America is going to be destroyed. So it says that these things are temporal. You know, it's, it's going to vanish. You know, well, as a matter of fact, I have another piece that's at the top of my mind. Let's see if I can find the keyword. Um, It slipped my mind uh, a little bit and I'll, uh, I'll find it and put it in the um, But, uh, you know, the point being is that, uh, the point being is that, you know, we can't really get too caught up in you know, carnal aspects of, of, you know, this walk and, you know, getting too caught up in aspirations and goals and everything. 